here with Brian Hernandez who just won a two-year-old stakes at Horseshoe Indianapolis and he's going to ride another two-year-old stakes a great one on Friday on BB's Dream for the same trainer Brian she looked ultra impressive in the Pocahontas what uh, have you heard from the trainer have you even been on her since then what can we expect Friday at Keeneland I worked her uh, I worked her last Friday or half, half between races and she seems like she's her normal self you know we've always been impressed with her from day one and, and she's a type of filly where now she's just showing what, what we thought she was when she first came in and, you know we're excited about Friday you know Kenny Kenny's kind of mapped out this whole game plan through the whole summer you know after the race at Ellis he, he planned on giving her a break and having her having her fresh for these fall races and so far it's worked out great you know with her big performance in the Boca Hottest to come back and out some bodies we're looking forward to Friday. Kenny said he was excited to take another crack at Bright Work uh, are you as well? Yeah of course you know you, you have to respect Bright Work because she did beat us there at Ellis and it was a four horse race but that turned out to be probably one of the key made one of the key two year old races in the country and uh, we're looking forward to a rematch on Friday. Short stretch at Keeneland for those races with the mile in the 16th does that change uh, your strategy? strategy at all with her versus the one turn Pocahontas? No, that's kind of the nice thing about our filly. You know, she's pretty versatile and we'll let her leave the game. She she seems to be tactical enough to get us in a nice position. And then from there, we'll just kind of map out a plan and, and go on the trip. All right. Best of luck Friday in the entire meet. Thank you.